What's up everybody, this is Michael from Detail in the Shadow coming to you with a new exciting video, a new exciting tutorial. This one's gonna be a little bit long one, but it is worth the wait because there's a lot of steps that's involved with this. Um, if you wanna get your film prepared to send it to the high-end, high-level film festivals, even some in the entry level or whatever, what have you, I don't really wanna label any film festivals, but any film festivals at all, um, there is a format that is required often called DCP. And I'm gonna run through the steps. Uh, it's quite a bit of steps, but stick with me here on converting all your work to DCP. And uh, so that way it is what is called deliverable format. Here we go. Okay, first I start off in Photoshop. Uh, CS6, I'm pretty sure the uh, Creative Cloud will work the, just the same. I uh, upload the footage that I have and I go ahead and crop it to 239 or you can crop it to the 185 Academy ratio because those are ones that are required. Um, then you wanna go to the Export tab and uh, go to Render Video. And then when it goes to Media Encoder, you wanna go to Photoshop Image Sequence. That's uh, the first step there. And then you want to export those as TIFFs and it will export all 1230 or what have you as TIFF format and make sure you put that in a clean folder that you can easily find it. And that's one of the first steps here in generating this DCP here in Photoshop. And there you have it, TIFFs on top of TIFFs on top of TIFFs. Um, this will be generated into a motion picture. So actually when you go to the movies, you're actually watching a series of still pictures, but that's what it is anyway. So that's one of the second steps. Uh, I'm not going to label these steps because I'm going to forget. Then you want to open up the DCP. I have a free software from Open DCP. I want to go and then you're going to have to convert all those to JPEG 2000. And this is a software that will help you easily and cleanly do that. So you want to open up and open up the folder that has all those TIFFs because those TIFFs are going to be converted to JPEG 2000s. Then you want to open up the uh, tab to where you're sending it to and be sure to label that folder quite clearly. That way you know where everything's going to be. And when you see the little uh, preview, you know you have success. And then it depends on how long your... Um, your footage is on how long it'll render down and it'll let you know how many cores I only have a four core I know that's a uh, small nowadays um, a quad core so it's using all the cores and it'll show you right there in the threads make sure you have it uh, matched to your frame rate and make sure you have that uh, JPEG 2000 and uh, it'll render down and then you have the one of the first uh, steps in the DCP yeah that's why I said I'm not gonna remember um, label the steps and then next you want to go ahead and uh, you make that into a um, MXF file I believe that uh, I just learned how to do this so I'm learning with you guys that's why I'm excited to bring you this video so we can do this all together because I like to see some of you guys' work I always say that I always love your comments I always love you to send me links of your work so I can check it out too because I don't want to be in this alone and um, let's see once you get that MXF file uh, converted to the JPEG the, first you get the TIFFs convert it to the JPEG 2000s, then you convert the JPEG 2000s to the MXF file. Then you want to open up your DAW, your digital audio workstation, whatever you have you. It even works with Audacity. I use Cubase and um, I went ahead and loaded up the footage here. And then you can open up the video player if your uh, DAW has that. That way you can see what you're looking at. And then also, I well, the main reason for uploading the video here on the DAW is actually to split the audio tracks away from the video because you're going to need a left and right mono for this to work.
and make sure you have the length correct because that is optimal for any audio sync because you want to have your audio sync and one of the thing that's really imperative is to render down the um, audio in a waveform a dot wav and it is imperative that you render it down in 96 kilohertz nothing else but 96 kilohertz will work i had to find that out the hard way but through some practicing and um, testing i found out that 96 is what it really needs then you want to go back to the open dcp software and upload those mono left and right tracks And then select the folder where you want it to be output to. And then when you render that down, it doesn't take very long because the uh, audio files are not as large as the video files or the picture files they, they call them here on that DCP generator then you want to go to the DCP tab and now we're going to actually get into the making of the DCP so you want to find those MXF files you want to find the picture MXF files and also the audio MXF files but we'll get there And like always, make sure everything's synced. Make sure you have the proper frame rate. Um, I always shoot at 24 frames per second, which is uh, have been deemed cinematic since the early uh, 20th century. And just like that, your DCP is created. Just as simple as that. Um, it's a lot of steps, and you're probably going to take some practice just like me, but this is what it looks like in deliverable form. This is what it looks like, the files look like when it gets delivered to the movie house, any theater. Um, and then also, you're going to want to get a drive because it's going to be a very large file, especially if you do a full feature. And um, if you have the ability, you can test it out on a full-size movie house. That's one thing I intend to do. And thanks a lot for sticking around. Thanks for a lot. Uh, if you like this video, found it instructional, help you out. Uh, like and subscribe. This is a journey. I'm learning just like you. And we can learn together. Um, let's, let's get more.